what up YouTube man this your boy download back with another TV review and such man in which we working on a new setup right here for today because my new camera is in the mail and I wanted to get back to work damn near today but anyway wanted to talk about this series better call Saul for those of you who haven't seen it it's the spin-off to Breaking Bad but yet it's a prelude it's pretty much taking you back to the most crooked lawyer since Levy from The Wire and such, man, in which it's very interesting to see this type of shit, man, because real talk, it shows you how these lawyers come up in the game, man, how there's a separation between the lawyers that you go to if you are like a criminal for real to get you connected and the lawyers that you go to to pretty much get you off. Shows like this show where all of the money tends to go, like when drug dealers pay their lawyers to do stuff for them, like clean their money and such, man. Shows like this explain that. It is very informative. Now, a lot of people, they really don't like this show as well as Breaking Bad and such, man, in which the common thing that I hear about it is the show is too slow, it's too long, it's too drawn out and such, man. But yet, that's honestly the best parts of it, you dig? Because what they do is they take characters and they develop them to the point that you can take somebody like the main character of the original Breaking Bad. How could you actually take a teacher that dedicated their lives to building up people and such and make him make such flawed decisions to become a meth dealer. That's the style that these directors go with man and I love the hell out of it man because it breaks down the truth of the situations you did. Like real talk there is no right, no wrong, there's no black and white man, there's a whole bunch of in the fucking middle. Now Better Call Saul as I said is a prelude to Breaking Bad and such where you're pretty much seeing how the most shady lawyer came up in the game man and got his own because it's starts out and with spoiler alert man if you haven't seen the show I'm going to be giving away a lot of key shit here. So Saul Goodman whose actual name is Jimmy McGinty that we really didn't hear about until this damn show. He started out as a con man called Slippin' Jimmy outside of Chicago and such where he made a decent little living and such. He gets caught up in the game because of his ex-wife was sleeping with a mobster pretty much in which to get back at this mobster he took a shit in the sunroof of the car that he was driving not knowing that there was children in the back giving him a sexual assault type charge and shit. Now his brother Chuck which is a big time lawyer happened to get him off but he only worked for free and got him off in order to get Jimmy to change his life and go to New Mexico to work with him in the damn mailroom of his offices. See Jimmy is just a natural born hustler he's not going to be satisfied with working in the fucking mailroom all his life man so what he did is he took night classes at some distant fucking college online and such in order to get a damn law degree then he took that law degree man and was able to pass the bar but yet his brother just hated on him from the beginning upset that Jimmy took sort of a shortcut towards being a damn lawyer in which that's why he's become a scumbag lawyer I'm not gonna give away everything here man but what his brother Chuck did to him I would not do that to my worst enemies let alone my motherfucking brother and shit dude that was real fucked up but yet that's just a great part of the show man for every positive fucking person there's always something negative about him so Jimmy was taking care of this guy once he had a psychotic break for like over a fucking year and then he's still going to shit on him no matter what way he turned see that betrayal pretty much pushed him to being the damn shady lawyer because at that time he was trying to do the right damn thing he actually turned over over a million fucking dollars to the law when Saul Goodman in Breaking Bad never would have done that shit. Guaranteed. But yet, this isn't just his origin story as well, man, because Mike from Breaking Bad, pretty much a P.I. slash hitman and all of that shit, man, you get to see what made him into who he is and why he's there in New Mexico when he came from fucking Philly. See, overall, the complexities of the individual characters, man, that's what makes this show so damn great. For those who complained that Breaking Bad didn't have much action, you're not really gonna get much action here either because these are tales of a fucking lawyer. But yet, it's still the truth about every individual character and the situations being brought up, man, these are pretty damn phenomenal. I definitely recommend people to go ahead and watch this series, man. It is pretty awesome. Especially for a spinoff because, you know, most spinoffs, they aren't that damn damn good my dude but definitely go ahead peep it on out i give this a solid 8 out of 10 man 
I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there. And you can go to DownloadPads.com. That's down there to read today's article.